everybody. Trish here from Pinky's Farm. This is this week's edition of Friday Sews. The only problem is today is Monday. Now, I have a really good reason for being so late with my Friday Sews this week, and that is because this person spent the weekend with me. And did we have a glorious time. I must tell you that we hit it off like two peas in a pod. Um, you know, she came here as an acquaintance, but she definitely left as my sister. Uh, we were just, as my husband says, we were pretty much interchangeable. We think alike, we walk alike, we talk alike, everything alike. We just, he said we even look alike, kind of. So, but anyways, we just had a glorious weekend. We did a lot of thrifting. We did a lot of talking. We did a lot of soul searching. We did a lot of rocking. And those rocking chairs right there on the back porch, our butts were in those pretty much any time we weren't at a thrift store or, you know, messing with sewing stuff. So what we did basically was when she got here on Friday night, um, she came in, she was tired, she'd been on the road for a long time. We had some charcuterie and a glass of wine and kind of got to know each other. Had a fairly early bedtime and then we got up the next morning and had what I like to call a slow morning, which is get your coffee, plop down into a rocking chair, sit and listen to the chickens, and if you have a guest, just talk and rock and enjoy getting to know each other. That's exactly what we did and there was it was just such an easy thing. I mean, it's like I've known Jen all my life. It was really amazing. She just, we just connected on so many levels. Um, and so the next day, or the, that day, the following day, Saturday, we went thrifting. Um, and there was a rummage sale at a church that we went to and they had a lot of neat stuff, kind of picked over. Um, but I picked up a few things at the rummage sale, one of which was this Dritz pressing knit and it's kind of like a ham but it's just a little bit it's made to put your hand into I guess and hold an item but it's kind of like a ham and for a quarter I mean I'll take that for a quarter those things are expensive I don't know what it originally cost but I got it for a quarter it's for you know shoulders and stuff and then so we went to some other thrift stores we ended up going to a total of one rummage sale and five thrift stores and we were so busy thrifting, we didn't even get around to eating lunch. I mean, next thing you know, it's 2.30 in the afternoon, and we're like, my gosh, we've not had lunch yet. So, um, But at one of the thrift stores, or maybe this was at the rummage sale, I got this really pretty pillow sham. And I basically just got it for this lace ruffle that's on it. Because I know I can use that for something or... If I don't, I probably can put it with a bundle and sell it on my Poshmark store. Um, and so, yeah, Lynn, Jen and I were talking about this. Whether or not I should tell people about my Poshmark store, and really I don't, I'm not trying to push my Poshmark store. What I want to tell you is, if you're into patterns, fabric, and linens, there's quite a bit on Poshmark that you can find. Um, they've really picked up as far as carrying stuff like that for crafters and people wanting home decor goods that are less expensive. So I encourage you to sign up for Poshmark. It doesn't cost you anything. Establish, um, establish an account and then you can buy fun stuff off of Poshmark. So that's what I do with a lot of my sheets that I don't use. I just sell them there. I also picked up at a thrift store this really nice sheet because it has, let's see if we can see, it has this really pretty ruffle. And I like that, and that could definitely go so far as to be like a tear on a tiered dress or a ruffle at the bottom of a dress or on a blouse. So for this one, I paid $2, and I believe I got it for half price. So can't beat that, that was really pretty. Also, that fabric will just make a really good muslin because I'm getting ready to try and make a muslin for a dress that I'm gonna use for my Liberty of London fabric. So I think there's enough there. I could practice on that. My other favorite piece I got was this panel. I don't know if it's a curtain. Let's see, is it a curtain panel? I believe so because it's very long. It would also be a good tablecloth though. But it's just a pink and white gingham check and it's kind of like a 
I don't know, maybe a broadcloth or something. But I was thinking, the cute outfit that you see on Jen in this video, um, that's a Laura Ashley jumper that she made, and is, or a little romper, and it was so cute on her. And I must say, after seeing her in person and seeing one of her makes on her, she does very high quality work. I mean, it looked so professional. So she has got some mad skills there, let me tell you. But I was thinking I might like to make one of those rompers out of this. So I might think about doing that. And then the rest of what I got was just patterns, patterns. And from Jen, she brought a whole box of patterns for me to so we did a pattern swap I had she had a giant box and I had five small boxes so we switched a lot of patterns and um, speaking of patterns let me just show you some footage of what she was doing in the thrift store check this out so Jen just did this what do you there have you to go. say for yourself you. Jen Naughty, naughty. Look at this box of patterns. It's a disease. It's okay. It's... <laughs> she hit the jackpot. A lot of it is crafts. That's her story, and she's yeah, sticking okay. to Was it. Was she busted or what? She had so many patterns, and it just tickled me to death. I just had to laugh out loud when she said some of them were crafting patterns. I'm like, okay, yeah, right, Jen. Gotcha. I got your back. But anyways, we had a glorious time. She, I got a stain on me. She is a wonderful Christian lady. So fun to be with. So much my sewing sister now. Um, I can't wait to get together with her again and we will be getting together again soon. She just fit right in here. I had her hanging out with the chickens, pigs, the goats. She wasn't scared. Uh, she wasn't even scared of, you know, animal hair and other things that end up happening when you have animals. And to that I say, here's a little tidbit for you. Your pets will never go to the bathroom in the house unless you have company. And then they will go in multiple places in your house. I know, how embarrassing. But she was good, she went with the flow. She's like, oh, somebody left me a little present. And I'm like, I'm really sorry. That's just how it is out here on the farm and with animals. But really, it never happens in the house. But, yeah, you have company and, you know, you never know what's going to happen. One time I had company and there was a cockroach in the house or a palmetto bug in the house. I'm like, great. They think we're just nasty. But anyway, such is life. And um, I just want to say that she is a beautiful human being, an above average human being. We had a wonderful time. And I'm excited about getting to some sewing um, and having something to show you next week. Um, I'm going to tackle the Liberty of London fabric. No matter how hard it is to cut it, I'm going to do it. I've enjoyed everyone's videos this week. Thank you for watching me. If you want to like and subscribe, go ahead. If you don't, I don't care. It's just great to see you. Y'all have a great week. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.